What's up guys? Today, I've got my hands on the world's first rugged tablet with a built-in laser projector. That is insane tech and I just can't wait to see how this one performs. So just go ahead and roll that intro. quickly show you what you get inside the box first of all. So you get a user manual, a Type-C to Type-C charging cable and a 66 watt fast charger. Now if you're wondering about the price, you can pick this up right now for 799 US dollars, which seems quite reasonable considering the features and specifications on paper. Now let's talk design. This tablet is made from a combination of metal and rubberized plastic. It's a tough rugged tablet waterproof and shockproof and it does feel quite big and bulky in the hand. The tablet has a thickness of 19.4 millimeters and it weighs 1.1 kg. So yes, it's got the bulk and it has the weight. Now this tablet has 810H military standard certifications and IP68 and IP69K. Now if we go over the ports at the bottom, we have a watertight latch. When you open it, you will see a Type-C port and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now on this side, there is nothing. At the top of the tablet of an IR blaster, we have a power button and we have a SIM tray. And I'll quickly show you, this is a dual 5G SIM tray and it can also take one micro SD card up to two terabytes. Now next to the SIM tray, we have a focus adjustment dial for the projector. And over here you can see the projector lens. There is a vent next to it, which exhausts hot air. We've got volume rocker and we've got two customizable buttons over here. And that is pretty much all your ports. Now the most exciting feature of this tablet is the projector. So let's talk about it. So this is a DLP laser projector with a resolution of 854 by 480, offering a hundred ANSI lumens of brightness and the ability to project up to a hundred inches. So let me quickly show you this thing in action. Now to switch on the projector, you will see a shortcut on the homepage, just tap it and the screen will momentarily go blank and the projector light will turn on. As soon as it's powered on, you will see your home screen mirrored. So just holding up the tablet, showing you what it can do. Now, the further away from the wall you go, the bigger the screen will get, as you can see. Um, the maximum optimal is about 100 inches. You don't want to go over 100 inches or it won't look right. So up to 100 inches, this looks pretty good. And you need about three meter distance to achieve the full 100 inches. Um, what's useful is you could plug in a USB-C hub and then you can connect a game controller, a mouse, a keyboard, and then you can have a kind of home cinema experience from the tablet. And I'm going to do that right now to show you what to expect. For this example, you can see I've rested the tablet on top of my main projector just to give you guys an idea. And there we are. We're about 1.3 meters away. Uh, we're projecting around 65 inches and it still looks really good. I have a mouse plugged in, um, so I could now open up YouTube or Netflix and I can start watching movies on this on a massive 60 inch screen. So wow, picture quality looks amazing for a tablet. Okay, so I've downloaded the PS Remote Play app on my tablet. You can see that's my PlayStation 5. I've paired up the DualSense as well. So PS5 gaming is going to work on this tablet. So let's see how it plays. We're just going to play a bit of Astro's Playroom. You can see it playing on the tablet as well at the same time. I tried to give you a little bit of a view so you know that this is legit. Wait, wait, Mark. 
So even though it's a 480p projector, the picture quality and clarity and brightness was surprisingly good. I don't know how this company does it, but their projectors in their phones and now in their tablets are pretty damn awesome. All right, so let's talk about that display. Now on the front, we have a 10.95 inch IPS 120 hertz display that's full HD plus resolution and you've got Panda glass protection on top. Now the bezels are very apparent, same as you get in all rugged smartphone devices. So this tablet is no exception. You will see the bezels because it's designed to be durable. So military standard 810H, IP68 and IP69K certifications. Now let's talk chipset. The tank pad is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 8200, which is a four nanometer flagship octa-core processor clocked at 3.1 gigahertz. And for graphics, we have the integrated Mali G610. So quick gaming test, and we check out the settings first of all of COD Mobile. Maximum selectable graphics is very high, and at the same time, maximum frame rate selectable is max. The ultra option is there, and if you tap it, the graphics quality will drop down to low. So you need to decide if you want faster frame rate, or if you want better looking graphics. Now I actually want to test out the faster frame rate, so I'm going to leave it on ultra. I'm going to check out the controller settings because I have plugged in a DualSense controller from before, so we're still connected. So let's play this game with the DualSense controller. Now again, we're playing with the external controller. You could play with the touchscreen if you like, but it is a one kg tablet. So long gaming sessions are going to be a bit difficult. Unless you've got four arms as big as Popeye, it's going to be a bit tricky. But anyway, I've got the DualSense controller plugged in. Wow, even on low graphics, this looks really good. I've got a nuke. Nuke time. Just played Call of Duty Mobile with this controller and it was magic. Um, I even achieved a nuke there as you guys saw. Gaming is fun on this. It's got plenty of power and performance. I played on ultra frame rate so it was super smooth. So you're getting a very good performance from that Dimensity 8200. Now let me quickly tell you about the cameras and then we'll walk through the camera app. Now you've got a single 50 megapixel sensor on the back. That is the Samsung GN1 sensor. That's the same primary sensor as found in the Pixel 7 Pro. So they've not taken shortcuts there. You've got LED flash as well. It's a single camera on the back and we have a 32 megapixel camera on the front. And that front camera is the Sony IMAX 616. So we're just gonna quickly shoot some 4K video with the rear camera and we'll see what the quality is like. So just filming my desk. This is 4K video with the tank pad. Just a quick shot of my desk and the various objects that I have around my desk. So just filming my desk, this is 4K video with the tank pad. Just a quick shot of my desk and the various objects that I have around my desk. Video quality is actually not bad guys. And that was a very rough indoor test. Let's take some photos and I'll show you the actual results on screen. Now I've taken a few photos with the rear camera and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the results. So you've got a very decent primary sensor in this tablet. Expect to take pretty good looking detailed shots every single time. Video quality is also not bad. So quite pleased with the camera, even though this is a tablet and it's not ideal to take photos with as it's heavy and it's bulky. But if you do decide to take photos with it, at least you've got peace of mind that you've got decent camera sensors and you can expect to take decent quality photos and videos with it. The battery capacity is a massive 21,000 milliamp hours. And yes, a fast charger is included in the box as I showed you earlier, 66 watt fast charger is included in the box. Now this is running Android 14 with all Google apps included as standard. So Play Store, YouTube, YouTube Music, Gmail, all the good stuff is there as standard. You don't need to sideload or anything like that. Furthermore, the Android 14 is pretty stock-like. There is no bloatware included, which is really nice to see. There is a dedicated game mode, so when you're playing games, it's gonna enhance things. There is a toolbox as well, which is what these rugged phones are known for. So you have a number of features that you can turn on and off. You've got noise test, you've got a digital compass there, flashlight, bubble level, pick hanging, height measure, you've got magnifier, alarm, pedometer, plumb bob, protractor, pressure, speedometer, underwater camera, 
Camping light is, is what I want to show you straight away. So there is a massive light on the back. So you can turn it on, full brightness, check it out. That will light up a whole room, no problem. Okay, you, you've got half brightness, which is still very bright. And then you have slightly bright. And again, that is <laughs> still bright. Explosion flash. I'm not sure when you would need to use this, but it's there. And then you've got SOS as well, in case you need some help. Let's switch that off. So that's the camping light. You've got fan cooling. So this device does have an internal fan and you can slightly see it through here and you've got an exhaust vent on the top. Now you can switch the fan on manually. It's on level one. I want to let you hear it as I turn it up. Two, three. Now, I, now I'm starting to hear it. And maximum. So if your tablet's getting a bit hot, you can manually turn the fan on, cool down your tablet straight away. So I'm going to switch that off as I don't need to do that at the moment. Now this is interesting, warning simulator. I've seen this feature in their tank phones as well. Um, this is crazy, check it out. Oh, that is so loud. And I was panicking trying to turn the screen back on. But yeah, there you go. You got some fun features there. So there you go, you've got some fun, interesting features in that toolbox. Now you do have an IR blaster on the top of the tablet, so you could control your television or your other infrared devices with the tablet. Okay, so now it's time to check out the system and benchmarks. So DRM Info shows Google Widevine Level 3. And here is CPU-Z where you can check out the clock speeds. And you can see we are running the Mali G610. And here are the results for the internal disk speed test. So this tablet has achieved read speeds of 2347 and write speeds of 558 megabytes per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench single core score of 1345 and multi-core score of 3764. And in the anti two benchmark test, we achieved 863K. So there you have it, guys. That was the 8849 Tank Pad by Unihertz. This is the world's first rugged tablet with a built-in projector. The product is exciting, entertaining, and very well made. It's built to last. The DLP laser projector works pretty damn well. And just like the tank phone projectors, this is another winner. You could copy over a whole bunch of movies on an SD card and watch them on a massive 100 inch display through this tablet. Power and performance is also top notch. The Dimensity 8200 has already proven itself as a capable flagship processor, great for gaming and quite battery efficient too. Now, if you want to see more of my latest and greatest unbiased tech reviews, hit the like button, sub to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.